This post is sponsored by the Water Type Gang. So I've said a lot of mean stuff about the Grass Type in the past, and I don't take any of it back, but I would like to double down on my claims. Also, I understand that there are good Grass Type Pokemon like Reloom, Superior, or Ferrothorn, but there are good Pokemon of every type, and not every type is good. So when I'm talking about if a type is good or bad, I'm purely talking about its characteristics. So first off, I would like to define what makes a type good or bad and what I take into account. When people say X type is good or X type is bad, they're usually referring to only the Pokemon. But when I say a type is good or bad, I also take into account moves that the type has, how much they have affected the metagame, as well as obviously resistances, weaknesses, immunities, types that's super effective against, and types that's not very effective against. So for example, let's take the Ice type. Now there have been a lack of good viable Ice type Pokemon, but Ice type moves have always been a must, and that's because of its great offensive capability of the ice type. Ice is super effective against four types, and one of them is dragon. And for a long time, dragon was a pretty elite type, especially in Ubers. So ice was very important since pre-gen 6, the only other type that it was super effective against was itself. So ice beam for that reason has always been a top tier move. And when hidden power was so relevant, how much do you want to bet that the most popular version of that move was hidden power ice? So I personally can't say that ice is the worst type because ice as a type has never not been in conversation because it's so great offensively. And I'm going to be going back to ice as a comparison since they both struggle with having viable Pokemon of that type. So now that I have established my criteria, I defend my claim because I know that a lot of people won't agree. But just hear me out. Let's first go over the grass type's qualities. Grass is weak to flying, poison, bug, fire, and ice. It is the type with the most weaknesses, period. It resists water, ground, itself, and electric, and it's super effective against ground, water, and rock. It's not very effective against many types. Those types being flying, poison, bug, steel, fire, itself, and dragon. Now, let's dissect this. Grass is super effective against three types, but only two of those types, ground and water, are actually really relevant to competitive Pokemon. There are only two rock types in OU. In Gen 8, there was only one. In Gen 7, there was three. In Gen 6, there was two, and you get the point. There have been really great rock Pokemon in the past, but rock type Pokemon have never been called amazing for reasons. So grass is bad defensively, but also offensively, it only threatens two relevant types, and it's not very effective against seven types. Those seven types being pretty relevant competitively overall. And here's the thing, that wouldn't be that bad, but do you know what you need to be a good offensive typing? Good offensive moves. I made a video called the best move of every type where I chose the best move based on how that move has performed historically, so I took into account things like distribution of that move. And I said that I considered Leech Seed the best grass type move. Leech Seed takes one eighth of the HP of our opponent and it gives it back to the user. It's a great way to slowly suck the life out of your opponent, but also to force your opponent to switch out. It's been around since Gen 1 and it's been relevant every single generation. So a good move, but it's not an offensive one, and you can just switch out to get rid of it. Also, I know that Spore for a long time was something good that the Grass type had going for it, but as of Gen 9, Smogon has banned it, so it doesn't even get that anymore. And the Grass type is also associated with Paralysis, but if we're being real, the Electro type has better Paralysis-oriented moves than the Grass type, like Thunder Wave, obviously. Also, while Grass types are immune to moves like Rage Powder, Rage Powder is not super relevant in singles, as it is mostly used in VGC, and this video is from a singles perspective. And don't get me wrong, there are good offensive grass type moves, for example drum beating or frenzy plant, exclusive to only one Pokemon, are a very limited distribution. I mean, when was the last time that you were afraid of being hit by a power whip or an energy ball? Even Ferrothorn will usually run gyro ball over power whip. The grass typing not being very threatening offensively is one of the reasons that water and ground type Pokemon have been so good historically. Them only having one weakness, which is a quadruple weakness to grass, is why both offensively and defensively they have been good, like Swampert or Quagsire. For example, if, if the only weakness that Swampert had hypothetically was a quadruple weakness to water or electric or any common solid attacking type, then Swampert wouldn't be that good. A lot of his solid reputation is reliant on the fact that grass is incredibly underwhelming as a type. So it doesn't have much to worry about weakness wise. So I already talked about how even compared to ice, grass is still worse. But another type that's also in the conversation regarding the worst type is bug. Bug is in a similar situation to grass. There are not have been that many amazing bug type Pokemon compared to other types. Again, there are good bug type Pokemon, just not that many. But the bug type has always been in the conversation, not necessarily because of bug types, but mostly because of the bug type moves. Remember what I said that we should also take into account when discussing what type is good or bad is the moves, since moves is also something that at the very least 
in my opinion, competitive players think of when they think of a type. Bug has some of the most amazing moves, including U-turn, sneak web, and quiver jam. Especially U-turn and sticky web, since they are the two moves that define the metagame. So to me, that makes bug automatically better than grass. But unlike the bug type, grass doesn't have a move that's meta-defining. It has good moves, but not moves like quiver dance or U-turn. And even though the bug type has many flaws, the fact that U-turn is a move that is as common and sought after as it is, has made the bug type a type you do not want to be weak to. But grass does not have a move like that. A lot of players much rather have a Pokemon that is weak to grass than a Pokemon that is weak to bug just because of the existence of U-turn. And that's without even talking about how sticky web is such a good move and how it also keeps the bug type relevant. Plus, besides just moves that the bug type has, it also has less weaknesses. It has two less weaknesses to be specific. Another type that people dunk on all the time is the rock type. It's like Steel's disappointing younger brother. It has the second most amount of weaknesses of any type, and it also doesn't have the best reputation when it comes to viable Pokemon. But rock is in a similar position to bug, as in it has a move that has also redefined singles, stealth rock. The rock type is in a similar situation to the ice type in the sense that defensively, it is absolutely horrible, but offensively, it's actually pretty solid. However, the best rock type move isn't an attacking move, it's stealth rock which is the only move that I even considered for this type, unlike the other types where there are also other contenders. Stealth Rock has to be top 10 most important moves in all of competitive singles. It was first introduced in Gen 4, single-handedly destroying the dreams of all Charizard fanboys. There really are not that many moves that were able to nerf to such degree so many Pokemon that otherwise would have been perfectly or more viable. It's a move that is consistently good against pretty much any type of team because passive damage will catch up to anybody, and its distribution is good to an honestly evil degree. And when we look at its qualities, it still wins over grass. Contrary to grass, it's not very effective against only two types, which is a lot better than grass's seven types. Rock is also a better offensive typing, as it's super effective against four types. Meanwhile, grass is only super effective against three. So meanwhile, they have the same amount of weaknesses. Rock wins in the other departments. So not the best type, definitely, but better than grass. Also, another defense that people might have is that there have been good defensive grass type Pokemon, but that's only when paired with an actual good type, like Steel. So that's not a great argument because you're reliant on another type to do the heavy lifting. For example, would Ferrothorn be as good if it was just a mono grass type and didn't have the Steel type? Probably not. Lastly, I want to address the Levani in the room. Why does everyone pick the bug over grass type when picking the worst type? Since, in my opinion, when talking about the worst type, usually people talk about bug. Well, I think that's mostly just because bugs are the least impressive when it comes to stats and since stats have a lot to do with competitive relevancy, it results in a lot of bug types being ranked low. But we're not talking about stats, we're talking about the type's characteristics. So as I was saying, bug type Pokemon have the lowest base stat total of all types, both unevolved and fully evolved Pokemon. For unevolved, it's 353.17 and 467.42 for fully evolved. And a part of that is due to something completely outside of the metagame's control, which is that bug type Pokemon are usually found in the early game. They are meant to be relatively weak Pokemon that you can evolve early, but are still weak so that the playthrough isn't overwhelmingly easy. And if that sounds unfair or unbalanced, it's because it is. But remember, Pokemon was not originally meant to be a competitive game. Competitive singles has been around since Gen 1, but that was fan-made, because VGC was only introduced in 2009. So the fact that on average bug types have low stats, I feel is the reason why people often label it as the worst types, even though it has nothing to do with the type itself. Also, I'm not denying that it's bad again, I just think that grass is worse. But if we compare the types, moves, and characteristics like I did throughout this video, it becomes evident that grass is bottom of the barrel. So just a quick summary of my main points, not only is grass the type with the most weaknesses, but it cannot make up for that in the way that ice does, because although ice only resist itself, it always has been regarded as a great offensive typing, and grass has never been regarded as a great offensive typing in the same way ice has. And that's not the case for grass. I think that if you ask most people which type is better offensively, ice or grass, a good amount of people would reply ice. This lack of offensive prowess can be shown through the fact that water and ground type Pokemon have historically been very good, since their only weakness is a four time weakness to grass, and they obviously don't seem too worried about it. It's the opposite of how the rock type was able to nerf the existence of Pokemon like Charizard and Volcarona through a single move, Stealth Rock. So overall, it's lacking offensively and defensively. Furthermore, grass type moves have not had the same relevancy as other types that, that could be described as bad types, for example, Rock or Bug, because Stealth Rock, Sticky Webs, and U-Turn and cornerstones of competitive singles. But even the best grass type moves, like Leech Seed or Trailblaze, can't say that. Although they are good, they are not that.
that good. This is further emphasized by the fact that sleep-related moves has been banned in Gen 9, so moves like Sleep Powder, which kept grass relevant, aren't in the conversation anymore, and moves like Rage Powder are something that are almost always limited to VGC, and this video isn't about that, it's about competitive singles. However, I can understand that not all types are meant to be a defensive or offensive powerhouse. Most types aren't, in fact. Actually, Water, one of the best types, isn't good because it's super strong, like fighting or super defensive like Steel, it's good because it's balanced. But Grass doesn't fit into either of these three categories, but since the type chart is probably not going to change anytime soon, things are probably going to stay the same. However, if Game Freak keeps adding good moves like Trailblaze, then hopefully we can see Grass will have more success in the future.